Now that you've recorded your four track piece, you can customise the sounds of the instruments to make it a bit more personal. So select the bass guitar track, make sure that's the one you've got highlighted and then go up to the instrument view icon in the top left. And then if you tap on the bass guitar, you'll see a menu of different bass sounds that you could choose from, okay? So these bass guitars here might sound fairly similar to your Liverpool bass. Let's try that one. Okay. Or you could try one of the synthesized bass sounds up at the top there. I like the Liverpool, I'm going to stick with Liverpool, but you can choose which bass sound you like. And then go back to the tracks view. And now let's select the acoustic guitar track. And go up to the instrument view up there in the top left. Tap on the acoustic guitar and there's different um, electric guitar sounds to choose from. So let's try classic clean. Okay, so that's very different to the acoustic. So you can just choose which one you like the sound of and then go back to the tracks view. And let's select the grand piano track. Go up to keyboard view in the top left hand corner. Tap the grand piano. And then you can choose from these different sounds here. So let's try the smooth clav. Or you could try rock organ. Okay, then go back to your tracks view and select the drum track. Go up to the drummer icon in the top left hand corner. And then if you tap on Kyle, you'll see a list of other drumming sounds to choose from. Okay, so let's try Darcy instead. Okay, so once you're happy with that, drum sound, you can try other sounds as well, then go back to your tracks view. Um, the electric guitar is a lot louder than the acoustic guitar was, so let's take the volume down on that a bit, and then let's play the track and see if we want to adjust to anything else. play about with that it will be different balance depending on which instruments you've chosen but that just shows you a wee bit that once you've recorded you can actually still change the sounds and customize your track a wee bit further so i hope you've enjoyed making that first easy garage band project well done